Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, cookout. Yeah, yeah, I can come. Um, I'm still on that diet, though. Yeah, yeah, it's going great. But I'm probably going to eat here because of the cookout, you know, the burgers and stuff. I, I don't think I'll be able to eat anything there without going over my caloric intake for the day. So, yeah, yeah, I'll come as soon as possible. Um, just let me eat really quick first. Okay. All right, see ya. Fruits and veggies. Fruits and veggies. Fruits. Can eat this, can eat that, can eat anything, you can eat anything you want. Fruits Just forget about it. Veggies. That you're not having, you're not having that or that or that. Cut out Fruits all the carbs, cut out veggies. all of them, and you'll be fine. Fruits you'll lose weight like that. It'll be simple. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, can't eat basically everything in my fridge. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's just grab this and let's grab this as well and just see if it is okay. Fruits you can't eat anything you want veggies. anymore. Just forget about it. Just Fruits get over it. The diet's easy, man. The diet Fruits is so easy. Just veggies. quit complaining already. Fruits and veggies. Fruit. No! What is going on everybody? It's your man, Bizfault Crank, back with another video. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm in nature, so I'm doing great. If you are new to my channel, this is a fitness and personal development based YouTube channel. So if you are new here, then hit that subscribe button below and tick that little notification bell icon so you can get notified every time I put up a new video. So was that you in the intro? Thinking you just need fruits and vegetables, you need to cut out everything, everything you really like to eat in order to lose weight. The fact of the matter is you can pretty much eat everything you were eating before and still lose weight. There's one simple trick to this that I used when I started getting like really shredded. I actually don't count calories, so I was really confused why I was losing so much weight because I was trying to cut, but I wasn't really knowing how I was doing it. So I needed to explore my options, explore what I was eating, and I figured out that I was literally just cutting out one or two things from my diet and that can be either an ingredient or it can be a whole food. So I want to go over the three step process with you guys that you can use to lose weight without cutting out all the stuff that you love to eat. So the first step of the three-step process is to explore and that means explore what you eat the best way to do this of course is to track your macros track your calories we're focusing mainly on calories for this video because calories in and calories out is what determines whether you're gonna lose weight or not so to track your macros you can use something like my fitness pal that's an app or you can just do it by hand you can look up the stuff on the internet if you don't have the exact macro count for everything. And you wanna do this for about a week. And I mean track everything, guys, because a lot of people slip up with these little things that they take from people. When people offer them stuff, or maybe when they have just a little snack, sometimes they don't count these things. They don't take it for granted. You need to be counting every single thing you eat throughout the day for just about a week. So this is the before process. We're trying to explore what we're eating first. We need to know what we are eating in order to eliminate the one or two or three essential things from our diet that will allow us to lose weight. So now that you know exactly everything you're eating in a given week, you can move on to step number two. Okay, so you know what you've eaten in a given week. You have everything written down. The next step in the three-step process is to evaluate. And the evaluation process is when we decide what one or two or three foods that we need to cut out of our diet on a regular basis 
that we eat on a regular basis. So here are the two main questions I usually ask myself, and they are, what foods could I live without, and what foods are essential to my well-being? This becomes a decent compromise because we still want to keep the foods that are contributing to our lives well, you know, if we are bodybuilding like I am, or just really into fitness, we need a lot of protein, and sometimes these high protein foods can have a lot of calories, but we still want those in our diet. It's really mostly the snack foods, or maybe that one ingredient that's really throwing you off, like oil or something really high in calories. And now that you've evaluated the foods you eat, you can get on to step number three, which is to execute. We found out everything we eat in a given week. We've evaluated what we can live without and what is essential to our well being and to our health and to our fitness goals. And now we can get on to the third step, which is to execute. That means to actually remove this stuff from our diet. So, the biggest factor, the most common factor to getting over these dietary changes or to eliminating stuff from your diet is just having these foods in your house. You need to get rid of them in your house, get rid of them immediately. Even just hiding them will help actually if you have people in your house eating these foods, you don't need to completely get rid of them. And obviously after that, you need to be consistent with it. You need to not have these things in your diet for a little while. I would recommend a couple of weeks. If you end up slipping up a day or two during those two weeks, it's totally okay. It's not gonna make a big difference, but we need to test run this. Once we start eliminating these things from our diet, we need to see, is it really working? And then obviously you need to be checking your weight pretty much every single day. You don't need to every single day because I don't like doing that because it fluctuates a lot but pretty much once a week or once every few days, you need to check out your weight, see if it's really working, and if it is not, you need to go through this loop again, this three-step process, and re-explore, re-evaluate, and re-execute until it becomes perfect. So that is it, guys. That's the three-step process to losing weight while still eating what you want. This is what I used in order to lose weight, in order to get shredded from winter to a few months before summer. And that one thing for me was tortilla chips and burrito wraps. Just having those extra calories throughout my day, I found I would eat tortilla chips like a lot during the day. And I would eat them with salsa or hummus or something like that. And then also I would have burrito wraps, these like 600, no, 300 calorie burrito wraps that I can just completely get rid of. That's 300 less calories throughout the day. And then whatever amount of tortilla chips I ate throughout the day, those are completely gone. I just removed one thing and I was able to cut down my calories so much during the day and I was still able to eat foods that I love to eat. So try this out for yourself if you're sick of just eating Foods you really don't want to eat, these fruits and vegetables, although I am a big fruit and veggie guy because it's that vegan power, those vegan gains. But yeah, just eliminate one or two or three things from your diet, go through this process and see if it works for you. You got to feel it out, you got to test run it, and you got to keep evaluating the things you eat and just removing one or two things. It can be that simple for you guys. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy, if you are going to try this, leave a like for me and leave a comment below if you have any questions or the after effect of you doing this because I wanna see if it works for you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video.